Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sixfire here, and today I'm just gonna be going on a normal ride. I had previously filmed two other rides. Both had audio issues where the first one, it was recording on the GoPro mic and not my actual microphone in my headset. The other one where the audio just didn't work at all, which was really annoying. Both of those videos I was actually doing something interesting in, but unfortunately I couldn't use the footage for the second one. The first one is up on the channel right now. You can go and watch it. The audio is pretty bad, but it's still a pretty good video. Other than that, I'm just gonna be going on a normal ride. I have no plan. I'm just gonna take you along with me. So please enjoy the video. All right, guys. So, as I said, the last two videos that I tried to film literally did not work at all. One of them I did upload the last video on the channel is one of those ones where the audio just didn't work like I thought it would. Which is super fucking annoying. But, you know, I swear to God, if this one isn't working, I'm actually going to just, like, I, 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 I'm, I'm going to delete my channel. I swear to God. I don't have a plan at all for this video. I honestly, I have no clue where I'm even going to go, but I'm just going to do a quick little ride around and enjoy the road. It's really sunny out today, but it's kind of cold. It's like 55 degrees, so it's not bad, but it's also not like super warm. My like, the like time where I feel like super comfortable on a bike is like, 60 to like 70 degrees anything higher or lower just gets kind of uncomfortable But right now it's kind of perfect but Yeah, so the last video on my channel If you saw it, you'd know that it was kind of a mess of audio. I wanted to do just a pure sound video right around so you could hear the bike I didn't really want to talk but uh about a quarter way through the ride I realized that I'm a fucking idiot and I forgot the wind protector on the GoPro so I pulled over and I tried to plug in my microphone so that I could somewhat salvage the video and just do a normal video and that's what you saw in the rest of that video and it turns out the microphone was not plugged in correctly. The aux cord wasn't fully in and it wasn't recording audio on the actual microphone. Instead, it recorded all of it on the actual GoPro microphone so you could kind of hear me talking and then like throughout, if I revved the bike any higher, it would completely drown out all of my audio and it was a mess. My friend told me to put it out anyways just because it was kind of funny. So I did. And then yesterday, I, I recorded a video of me riding to Best Buy to go pick up a 4070 uh, graphics card because I'm building a computer, as I explained in that video, but I have to explain it again. I'm building a new computer and I was like, hey, I'm going to Best Buy, might as well just record a little bit. And I did. And it turns out just something was up with the actual microphone itself that time and it was just a horrible buzzing sound as you heard at the beginning of the video and I, I can't even salvage that and put it out because that's just unwatchable you can't even hear the bike so there's no point I was super pissed off and I swear if this isn't working too I'm gonna be even more pissed off because Jesus Christ the one thing that really irks me about living in mass and you know being a rider is there is no tracks anywhere near here in state that I could go and do a track day on I really want to do a track day but it's kind of impossible seeing as there is no tracks anywhere near here to be able to do one on it's super annoying I'd love to take this thing and actually do some technical riding on an actual track. See, you know, 
my skill level in actually going around a track. I have a buddy who just got his first bike uh, a couple months ago down in Texas. If you know, if you're watching, you know who you are. I love you, buddy. It's been a while. I'd love to see you again. But uh, he's been posting a lot of stuff about track riding. And it's got me really, like, really excited, and I really want to do some of it. I'd love to do it. I just, I got that itch. I got the itch for speed. You can, you, you can tell in this video. I'm waiting for an open stretch of road right now and just ring through the gears. Ah, oh, come on, this road would be perfect. Hey, I get to slow down, I can appreciate the view instead. Absolutely beautiful view though. I've ridden on this road before in, it's gotta be my first moto vlog. Still doesn't change the fact that it's absolutely beautiful. The sun glistening on the water over there. Never gets old, never gets old. Paul. Man, in that video yesterday, there's a there's a part. It's kind of hard to tell on the video. I was de I like I didn't know if I wanted to, you know, do do the things that you know most moto vloggers do. And if there's a cop in the video, you know really highlight the fact that oh there's a there, there's a cop in this video oh the fucking i was actually thinking about naming it like naming it like uh, sunday drive but i i almost get pulled over or something about the cop but i decided not to just because that's it's just so cringy but uh yeah they're they're in that in the previous video there is a, a spot where i'm going down the back road i'm probably going 70 and i go past the cop and he didn't do anything. But uh, I was really astounded that this cop just did not care that I was speeding on this back road. And um, but now I'm like super nervous to go to like really let it rip, just because I'm like might be a cop lurking around this corner, you know? I never know. It could be anywhere. They're out to get me. But no, yeah, I. Just trying to be a little careful. Yeah, Harley, dude. Wave back, baby. It's the greatest feeling in the world as someone who rides a sport bike that if you wave at a Harley and they wave back, you just, you feel all good inside. You feel all warm and fuzzy. And then, and then, and then when you get a Harley rider that just, just, just doesn't do it, you feel so bad. You're like, ah, are you fucking kidding me? You know, your whole day is ruined. But when you get that one, when you get that one Harley rider, your entire faith in humanity is restored right then and there. I love it. I love it. Why? What's, what's, what's going on here? Why are we slowing down so much? Come on. Don't pull out with you. Jesus Christ. Just gonna cut me off. Ah. I was thinking last night of uh, how I could make these videos better, and um, because it, it, there's so much, th th there's only so much you can do with a moto vlog, you know, um, other than like you know POV I'm riding uh, type of thing. And I was thinking it would be really cool if there was a way to like track where my eyes were looking at during these videos, but you know that's. I don't think that's really possible. But if it would, that'd be so cool because one of the things that I I love about riding is how how hands-on it is, how like full body it is. You really use every like limb. I'm both arms, both legs, um, all at the same time, and you need to be coordinated. 
but it's also so important where you're looking. A good rider is always looking way ahead at what's happening while also surveying what's happening immediately in front of you. You always need to know what's going on because if you know exactly what's going on everywhere around you, then you can be extremely safe. You can anticipate things that are going to happen. You know how to avoid situations that could be deadly. But it'd be really cool if I'd be able to have some sort of eye tracker so you could see just my eyes are darting around everywhere looking at every car coming. This car's coming out of this parking lot. This car, this, this car's coming around the corner. This guy has this blinker on. He's been sitting there for a little for, for a little bit. He might be getting antsy. He might, he might try to pull out in front of me, which is exactly what happened with that car back there at that intersection. He was sitting there. I was looking at him. He looked a little antsy. I started braking before and then he pulled out. I knew he was going to pull out. So if you do know any sort of technology that would be, that would allow me to actively record or how I would even possibly do that, if it's even possible, please let me know down in the description. I would love to see anything. This is bad. That car, that's what I was just saying. It's a fucking, it's one of those things where you don't really notice it until, or I didn't at least, until I started riding of how much you really should be looking around everywhere. Driving and riding, it really is a, a sort of thing where it's a lot of analyzing. It's a lot of looking around and seeing what's going on around you, trying to make sure it's safe, trying not to die, that sort of thing. It's one of those things where if you're not doing it in a car, once you get on a bike and you start getting good on a bike, you're going to start doing it in the car. You're going to start noticing a lot more things. A lot more things that could lead to accidents. You start realizing this, this, and that. And I think it really does make you a, a better driver, a better rider. And it, it helps a lot. You, you learn a lot of disciplinary stuff on bikes. But, you know, there's also that thing of, you know, a lot of people, me included, like to go fast on bikes. And that's one of those things where I didn't even dare go over the speed limit on a bike until probably a year and a half of riding just because I wasn't comfortable with just the mechanics of a bike stuff like that once you start getting used to it you start you're able to notice things in the distance you know how to analyze the situations then you can start considering doing it because then you'll be doing it in the best possible way the safe way if that's even a thing but you get what I mean I cannot tell the color of this light. Funny thing about recording these videos that I didn't anticipate is people that I went to high school with and graduated with are watching these videos in college and sending me videos of them watching these videos. And it's really funny. You know, it, you, you know who you are, again, you know who you are, but it's really interesting to see the people that are watching these videos. And I hope you're enjoying them. I hope you're not just watching it to watch it and send it to me as a joke. But, you know, if I can, if I can give another college student something to watch to make them ignore their class, then I'm happy. If I can be the distraction that someone needs in their college course, I will be very happy. There we go. There we go. right now. The fucking wind is so loud in my ear. <clears throat> Man, ever since starting, <clears throat> ever since starting recording these monovlogs, you know, it's forced me to ride without music on. Normally when riding, I would be listening to music. I have, you know, a Bluetooth in my in my helmet and I'd be jamming away and that is really fun trust me that is always really fun but at the same time doing these videos has realized has made me realize how how just therapeutic it can be to ride around listening to the bike 
I started that way before I had Bluetooth, just listening to the sound of the bike. And I, it was really fun, but then I got Bluetooth and that was even more fun going on highway runs, listening to your favorite tunes. But circling back now, having something where I can just talk and, you know, think aloud while riding has been really, has been really nice. It's been really interesting. But also, I mean, the first moto vlog that I put up has almost 11, or I'm sorry, uh, uh, 16, I cannot fucking think of how to say numbers. 1,600, there we go, uh, views, and that is crazy to me. So hopefully you guys actually like these and you like my commentary because I'm having a lot of fun. And it's one of those things where it's getting me out more on the bike. You know, every day I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, you know, I could take the bike and go to the store or I could just hop in the car and not have to put all my gear on. But then I'm like, oh, but you know, I could ride around a little bit longer and make a video out of it. So now I have to. Another bus. This is my fault for going on a ride right well, school gets out. And that first, actually, I don't know if it was the first moto vlog or the one I put out the other day, but either way, if it was in one already, I'm just gonna repeat it. I wanna do longer rides and stuff and do more distances and have some more interesting stuff to look at on these rides. And there's one that I really wanna go to, and it's, I'm completely blanking on what it's called, but there's a mountain, we're probably 40 minutes away. And me and my father used to go, when my dad used to ride, we used to go up it together, we would ride up it. And we'd go early in the morning, go up to it, go on the trip, and then sit and look over the mountain, and then we'd ride back, and that was really fun. And I miss that, I miss doing that. Father, if you're watching this, please get another bike. Please buy another bike. I know that you can't anymore with your leg, but get another bike. I don't care, do it anyways. But yeah, so I want to do that sometime, but I, I don't have a lot of time for that. So I'm going to have to like make, make a, make a, make a, like a, put it in my calendar. That's a, that's a calendar plan right there. But yeah, I think that'd be really fun. Do a longer ride and get to see some nice views around Mass. I also want to do, I've been thinking about doing a thing where I pick a direction, northeast, south, or west, and I just ride. I ride, I have my GPS pulled up, I ride, I go down roads, and then once I decide to stop, pull out the GPS and just go, go back and just find weird locations. Are you fucking kidding me? Road closed? Ah, ah, I don't know where I'm going. I think this is perfect. This is what I was just talking about. I have no clue where the fuck this road is. This is literally what I'm talking about. We're going on an adventure now, even though I'm just gonna follow the detour signs, but you know. Actually, I do know where I am, so never mind. This is nothing like what I was just talking about. But yeah, I want to do that. Just drive in a direction until it gets to a dead end or a time where I need to get back and then open the GPS and ride back and just try and find cool locations, just some weird stuff. If I see something weird that's like really cool, stop, look at it. Just go mostly exploring and stuff like that, you know? I think that'd be really cool. It'd be fun. Oh, we got two buses meeting up. I like kind of know where I am, but like I don't really. Like I've been here before, but like I don't know how, I don't know where this goes, but I'm just gonna follow this truck. I'm following this ram and hopefully it will lead me 
this rim will leave me lead me to save to to safety uh, this I don't know where the fuck I'm going I didn't even know this was in my town is that a, is that a coffee maker toaster what the fuck I wish I had my backpack gaining trinkets on this ride Go around collecting little trinkets. That's a fun little video idea. Riding around, but I see how many little trinkets I can acquire in my little in my little traveling merchant pouch. Walk up to random people and see if I can sell my little trinkets to them. Where the fuck am I? Do I know where I am? I do know where. I am. What the fuck? This is this road? Anyone that knows this area, like anyone that I actually know, or if you know me, you're probably like, what the fuck? Where has this guy been? How does he not know what this, where this road goes to? Man, I don't ride around here a lot. I work in an office, bro. I go to and from work. Man, it is, my fucking bike is overheating. Is this shit idling high? I gotta check that out, because it's fucking hot. There's a trailer. I'm gonna move over. Man, alright, I'm gonna start heading home, because this thing is... This thing is loud. I don't know what's going on. It sounds a little high. I don't know. I don't like it, though. Alright, now my corn. I go, I go, I go. Goodbye. There we go. My visor's not closed. My visor's not closed. Ah, it's cold. Now it's closed. I'm good. Ah, uh, cool down the bike. Was that like 2:30? That's hot. Man, there's road work on this road too, bro. What is going on? I ain't turning no more. I don't want to turn no more. Oh, what the hell, man? Oh, what the hell is going on here? Why is it melt, bro? Man, that's not cool, bro. These roads are not built for bikes. That's for damn sure. It's a nice car. Well, we're gonna do one last pull. There we go. That's a nice little pull for you. Not too fast, just because it's not. I, I, I don't, don't want to go too fast. I'm sorry. But uh, that's where I'm gonna end this video. If you guys like this video, please make sure to leave a like down below. Please give your comments. I'm entering a school zone. I'm gonna go fuck myself. But, like I was saying, please leave a comment down below your thoughts on this video. If you have any idea on how I can improve these videos, please let me know. And, if you've got a bike, please go out, take it out. Go on a little ride. Enjoy yourself. I will see you in the next video. P.S. I love you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.